I mean, when, when a distillery is producing something like a 50 year, they are taking a very big risk. A 10 year cask will lose a third of the contents of the barrel to evaporation. And we refer to that as the angel's shear. It's quite nice. Welcome to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world, discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hello, and thanks so much for listening to the A Midlife Traveler podcast. We're in the midst of season one and a series on Scotland, which is sharing Scotland through the voice and the mind of a Scotsman named James. I'm Laura, and I'm your host, and today's episode is part of a series about whiskey. Now, Scottish whiskey, and particularly single malt whiskey, is very famous and very popular worldwide. And in this last episode, you may have heard James's story about how he sees whiskey as a little time machine and how he described the impact of bottling dates and price value. This episode today will build on that with a bit more detail and education just about the bottling dates and some of the whiskey distillery processes and risks around aging whiskey for longer amounts of time. So you're going to hear a bit about how the government uh, highly tracks the volume of whiskey and also how this information is helpful to the distiller as well. And like other recordings, this is a field recording. It was taken during a drive through the Scottish Highlands, literally as we were leaving a whiskey distillery. So there is some background noise, but it's a really great story and good information about whiskey bottling dates that I hope you enjoy. So here's James to share with you a bit more about whiskey bottling dates. Boof, stamped on the bottle, yes, the bottling date. Every company, they have to do it by law, by duty and excise. Because as soon as that, when they, they've got to stamp everything with dates, and, and because what happens is, is that uh, before anything leaves the distillery, a government official will go into there and he will count the literage that's under lock and key. And that will be measured as in uh, one litre of whiskey will weigh a kilo. And when that truck leaves it leaves the distillery, it must go onto a weigh scale. And if the weight is incorrect, the government will not allow that truck to leave. So everything everything is bottled and dated and stamped so that the government official can then take the count of the literage that went through that day and then count the bottles. And if they don't add up, that whiskey does not leave the distillery until they find the missing whiskey. So the, 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 the bottling and the dating is really, it's a way for the government to, to monitor what it's taxed, what it hasn't taxed and so on and so forth. Um, and it's also for quite specific to the master distiller. So every batch that goes out, he will take a sample. And then every new batch, he will check the coloration and the smell of all the older batches to make sure there's not too much of a difference. So it's quite important to the master distiller that he knows when they were bottled. So it's, it's, there is a reason uh, behind it. Um, it's just such a, I don't know, you know, to think something takes so long to produce. I mean, 10 year is normally the youngest that any um, distillery will produce. Some do produce a five year, but not many. Um, but I mean, when, when a distillery is producing something like a 50 year, they're taking a very big risk. A 10 year cask will lose a third of the contents of the barrel to evaporation. And we refer to that as the angel's share. It's quite nice. Hopefully I've lived a good enough life. <laughs> I'll become a whiskey angel. Um, so if a 10 year is losing a third of its cask to evaporation, just imagine what you're losing in a 50 year. 
So quite often out of a cask, a 50 year cask, the distiller will be lucky to get six bottles. And it's taken 50 years. And where he's taking the big risk is that as alcohol gets older, its potency reduces. And if they unearth a 50 year and it tests below 39.5% alcohol, it will not be classed as a neat spirit, therefore it cannot be classed as single malt, and you've just wasted 50 years. So it is quite a big risk that they take. Um, it doesn't always got work in their favour, because what they do is, is they bury the cask they, they, to stop the evaporation happening so much. Sometimes they'll unearth it and the cask has broken, and it's all wasted and ruined. So it can be, uh, you know, quite a skill, quite an art to make the whiskey. 